Okay. Hi, I'm, I'm Jani Lizenby, and I am gonna be burning some, a whole bunch of different projects today. We'll see how much I can get done. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of things to do. But um, I'm gonna be using my Colwood Detailer. All of my tools and supplies are listed in the description, by the way. So if you guys are wanting to know what I'm using, it's in the description, go check that out. Um, but I'm going to be doing a rose ornament today. I'm gonna to be doing um, just some lettering on a uh, knife and then if I have time I'm gonna get to another uh, charcuterie board. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and in case you guys are new to me my name is Jani Lizenby. I am the founder of burnsavvy.com where you can learn all kinds of free wood burning information and Burn Savvy Academy where I have courses and all that kind of stuff and then um, I am the artist behind Red Roof Barn so if you guys haven't seen that you can feel free to go check all those things out. I'm gonna start with the uh the knife here now i don't know there i think you guys can see that i have penciled on some letters already so i can get customizing this i'm going to be using the writing nib today for the lettering and this is what that looks like it's it's one of my favorite lettering tools uh it's it's just really really good i know that a lot of people like the ballpoint and i prefer the writing nib to the ballpoint when i'm doing lettering because this has an ever so slight straight edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pull towards me and see how dark that goes. Now I want that to be a lot darker. I will go over this just a couple more times just to make sure it's dark. There we go. Come up to the side. I'm just going back and forth over those lines. And any spot that's being stubborn, I just go over it a little bit more. Another nice thing about the writing nib when you're using it for lettering is that it can smooth out some of the texture. Now, sometimes you want texture. When I'm doing fine lettering like this, where it's thinner lines, I don't really want texture. A little bit darker. So I wanna see if you guys can see that it's starting to dig into the wood a little bit you guys see that um, and there's a little bit of blackness around it and that's because there's a little bit of finish left on there and so af at the end I am going to go ahead and sand that off just a little bit more to make sure that I really get it cleaned up and if you guys are thinking about burning something in general you want to burn before you add stain and before you add a finish. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make knives and I don't know where to get them unfinished. So I just had to make do with this one in this case. Mm. But I tell you, this Colwood Detailer handles it beautifully. When I had one of those uh, real cheap burners, it was really hard to do this. <laughs> I had a lot less control. This Colwood Detailer has been a game changer. So if you guys are, if you guys have one of those cheap wood burning tools, I highly recommend an upgrade to either the Colwood Detailer or the Colwood Super Pro. Every time that your burner stops burning, turn that off, there is a decent chance that you've got some carbon buildup on there. That's what I want to scrape off of there. So some people are like, oh no, my burner's not working anymore. Nah, it's just dirty. I'm gonna take my 220 grit sandpaper and just very lightly go over that. There we go. Okay, look how much cleaner that is. See how nice? See how lovely? Okay, on to the next project. Now I'm going to be turning this into a rose. You can see I've already got it sketched on. There's a knot in the wood and I want to incorporate that. So I'm gonna take off this um, writing nib and then I have the heavy shade. This is the small heavy shader. You can get other ones that aren't heavy, but the small heavy shader holds up nicely to the heat. We are going to do some shading and this one's going to be a little more realistic. 
So first of all, I want to test in a dark spot and see if my burner is at the heat I want it. I do have to be careful though, because this is a knot. And so the knot in the wood is going to be harder than the rest of this wood. And this is a piece of poplar, which is really nice for burning. And what I'm doing is not really creating a line, but kind of creating a line. <clears throat> because I'm doing more realistic, I don't really want this outlining. I want this to have more of an edge. I'm using my handy dandy Colwood wood detailer. If you want one, they're at bearwoods.com. Go use code SAVVY. And again, I'm putting the shadow actually on the outside of the petal because that's where that edge is going to be. I actually have a whole course on it. You guys can go check that out at Burn Savvy Academy. And I still haven't decided if I want my rose to have kind of a stripy texture. I know sometimes that they, um, I know sometimes the roses have a little texture and so sometimes that's really fun to put in there. I'm mostly just burning in the darkest spots here and then I will come in and blend everything out. And you can see also that I can change how dark or light it is by the speed that I'm using. So if I go slower, it's nice and dark. And then if I go faster, it'll be light. I actually think this one's due for polishing too because the burning is starting to slow down. I have to turn my heat up more. But that's the beauty of this is that I can turn the heat up more. And then a little bit later, I can go clean this machine. I just love wood burning and I love shading. If you have more questions, you guys, feel free to pop them into the comments. I'm happy to share what I can. See how nicely that's coming along? So fun. So I am going to have to finish this another time. Uh, but it's really, um, uh, wood burning is just so, so much fun. I love burning. I love shading. Oh, for people with hand disabilities, are there options like adding pipe insulation to the tip to make it fatter? Absolutely. Um, actually, and Colwood, oh, let me turn that off. Colwood sells these if this is any help, but this is actually a heat shield or a heat uh, guard you can see how much thicker that is so it's um, this is more like working with a thin sharpie or like working with um, a pen this is more like working with a marker or something like that and so you have something like this it's a real thick thick cork and you can just take this I'll show you real quick pop off the nib pop off the cork I need two hands for this. And then you can pop one of these on and that makes it thicker. And right there, you have a thicker pen. So I don't know if that would help you, but I think that that is a really good option. And they do have this over on, um, over on their site. So I'll see that the description gets um, updated so we can put this into the, um, into the description for you guys, but I just, I love these tools. Um, there was someone here who said that they have a Burn Master. Colwood pens are compatible with Burn Master. So if you want some of these Colwood nibs, like I have a, I have a whole bunch and this isn't all of them. This is just uh, some of them, but I have a whole bunch of these Colwood nibs and those are, um, you do need the pen, but this pen is then compatible with a burn master it's also compatible with an optima and if you have an adapter like um one of these oh not this one like this adapter then you can make this pen work on a razor tip machine so whatever burner that you have if there's a nib that you're wanting colwood from colwood just go get it it's so worth having it it's and they have such a good variety of nibs i I love the Colwood uh, burners. I love the Colwood nibs. So go get some of those. Go check that out. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. Um, I'm going to be finishing this up later. You guys can go check that out. I'll probably post that over on um, Red Roof Barn uh, LLC over on Instagram. 
and I'll probably do it on Facebook too over at Burn Savvy. So go check that out. I will see you guys later. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jani Lizenby, your pyro professor, and I will see you guys December 16th. Later, pyro. Welcome back to another Bear Woods Facebook Live. Okay. Hi, I'm, I'm Jani Lizenby, and I am going to be burning some 